Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at how to install Pokemod for TCG Card Shop Simulator. This is a new video that shows you how to install the 5.1 version, which you can see here. Now there was a 5.0 version that added 8,000 new cards, you can see it here. This version is a fix to that because that version had a bunch of issues, so I actually skipped over doing a video for that. And we're going to do this one now that those issues have been fixed. So just to call out that if you have a previous version of this installed and it's working fine, then if you don't want the 8,000 new cards that are added on top of the base cards, then you don't need to install this fully. You can skip the fourth, fifth, and sixth steps of this if you just want to update or install you know, the, re the regular base card updates. So I'm going to take you guys through this step by step right from the beginning, just like I've done with all my other videos. So the first thing that you want to do is go into Steam and you want to right click on TCG Car Shop Simulator, go to manage and then go to browse local files just so that you have that folder open. So there it is. So this is the Steam Steam Apps Common TCG Car Shop Simulator folder. That's how you get this folder up. Okay, so then you want to go back to Steam. And you want to uninstall TCG Car Shop Simulator. So you right click again, go to manage, and then go to uninstall. And then say yes. Now this will not delete your save games, so don't worry about that. It'll uninstall it. Now that it's uninstalled, you want to go back to that folder that you opened in the previous step. And you want to go back to the common folder here. And then you want to delete this TCG Car Shop Simulator folder. So I'm just going to right click and trash it, or you can just press delete on your keyboard. Now it's gone. So TCG Car Shop Simulator is completely gone from your Steam now. Okay, so the next step that you want to do is you want to now reinstall the game. So I'm going to reinstall it. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to make sure that we delete everything that was in TCG Car Shop Simulator from before. All right, so it's installed now. So just uninstalling doesn't remove the TCG Car Shop Simulator folder. That's why you need to actually go in and delete it. So the next step that you want to do is you want to go over to the Nexus Mods page, and I'm going to have links for all of these in the description. Now you want to go to the Pokemod page on Nexus Mods. So again, in the description, just click my link and it will take you to this page. Now, everything is gone in the installation. So you have to do everything from scratch. So we're going to do it again, all from the beginning. So on the page here, you're going to go to requirements and the mod originally needed two things. It needed Bepin EX, which is here, and it needed Texture Replacer. Those are the only two things that you need, plus the mod itself, to make it work with the base cards replaced. This Add Entirely New Cards mod is the additional step that you don't need to do if you don't want to, so we'll do that last. So first things first, you want to click on this Bepin EX pack for TCG Card Shop Simulator. I'm going to middle mouse click on it, which will open it in a new window, just so I have this window open. I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to scroll down on this Bepin EX page and I'm going to click on files and then I'm going to click on manual download. Now, keep in mind that you do need to be logged in to Nexus mods to be able to download stuff. So I'm actually not logged in, so I'm going to log in. OK, so after you're logged in, then you can download it. Now, again, you don't need the paid version of Nexus mods. You don't need the premium version. You just need a free account and you can download with the slow download option. So I'm going to start downloading it as I had showed you guys before. I have a folder on my desktop called TCG Mods. This is where I'm going to be downloading everything. So I'm going to actually delete all of these files here, except for my mods backup folder, which is where I back up my other mods before I uninstall. OK, so I'm going to save that here, the Bepin EX zip file. Now I've opened up the TCG Mods folder in a new folder here so I can have these side by side. So I'm going to drag the Steam Steam Apps common folder over to the right. And I'm going to have the TCG mods folder where my mods are being downloaded on the left. So that way I'm going to be copying files from here over to here. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is you need to right click on Bepin EX, extract all. Now I'm using the standard zip functionality from Windows. I'm not using WinRAR or any of that stuff. So if you're using WinRAR or 7-zip or anything, then the steps will be a little bit different. So I'm going to extract all here and I'm going to just extract it right in this folder and then I'll just close this. And then as I always do, I'm going to delete the zip file just to get rid of it. 
And then I'm going to click once into Bepin EX. These are the files that you want. So on the right side here, you're going to go to TCG Car Shop Simulator in Steam, Steam Maps Common, double click. And then these files, I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to right click, drag, and I'm going to drop them into this empty space over here. And I'm going to copy them. So I'm going to copy them here. So Bepin EX is done, just like in my other videos. The way that you can check to make sure that it's actually working is just open up your game. I'm just going to load my save. And then when I'm in there, I'm going to press F1. And when I press F1, if I if you see this window, that means Bepin EX has been installed correctly. I'm going to close it. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, if you guys have a different keyboard that has a function button to be able to press F1, then you might need to press the function button and then press F1 to get that to show up. If your F1 key does something like mute or put your computer to sleep or whatever, then you're going to want to hold down function and then press F1. Okay, so now that Bepin EX is installed, I'm going to quit the game. The next step is texture replacer. So we're going to go back to the, the browser and then I'm going to close the Bepin EX window. And then I'm going to go to texture replacer and I'm going to middle mouse click or just right click and open a new tab if you want to do it that way. Now texture replacer is the next thing that you need to install. So I'm going to go to files here in the texture replacer window. I'm going to manually download it. And then I'm going to download. And then I'm going to save it in the same TCG mods folder on my desktop. Close that out. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my folders again. And in my TCG mods folder on the left hand side, I'm going to go back one. And then here's texture replacer. It got downloaded. I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract all extract when it's done. I'm going to close this window and I'm going to delete the zip file once again. Okay. Now texture replacer, I'm going to click into it once. This folder needs to go inside of the Bepin EX plugins folder. Okay. So once again, I'm going to go back. I'm in the the same folder that I copied the Bepin EX folder inside TCG Car Shop Simulator in the Steam folder. I'm going to click into it once and then I'm going to click into plugins and then I'm going to go over here to the left. I'm going to click on texture replacer and I'm going to drag it to the empty space over here and I'm going to copy here. Okay, now texture replacer is done. Now again, just like in my other videos, if you want to check to see if you did it right, just open the game again. And now if you press F1, you should see texture replacer here. So that's how you know texture replacer has been installed correctly. Okay, now I'm going to quit again. Now the last step for at least for the, the base cards is to install Pokemod itself. So I'm going to get rid of this texture replacer window. Now we don't need it. And now on the Pokemod page, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on files next to description. Now I'm going to just download this file here. Okay, TCG 5.1. Manual download, download, save it in the TCG mods folder. And then when it's done, I'm going to open up my folders again. And then I'm going to go back again to the TCG mods folder over here. Because if you recall, I was inside texture replacer before. And then I'm going to right click on Pokemon. I'm going to extract it into the same folder. Now this one will take a while because it's a big file. It's even bigger than the last one, the last version, I should say. So when it's done, I'm going to close this window. I'm going to delete the zip file. Okay. I'm going to click into Pokemon once. When I do that, you're going to see this Bepin EX folder. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to go back twice to Bepin EX. I'm going to right click, drag this Bepin EX folder over here into the empty space and I'm going to copy here. Okay, that's done now. So now the base mod is installed. Okay, so now if I go into Steam and press play on my game, you should see Pokemon installed now. And there you go. Pokemon by Red Hex. Now if I load my save, you can see that it's all updated now. So Pokemon is installed without the extra cards without the 8,000 cards or whatever, the, just the base cards are done. So if you do not want those extra cards, like I said, you can stop here. 
So I'm going to quit the game. Now I'm going to show you guys how to install the 8,000 extra cards. Now keep in mind that this changes the game considerably because now instead of how many ever cards it was before, like 2,500, you now have 8,000 cards. So this is a completely different experience. So if you guys do have problems, then there is an installation guide folder here that you can click into and it shows you all the steps. We are on step four right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what you need to do there. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to the browser again. Oh, it's also here in inside the actual mod page. So I'm gonna go to requirements and we need this add entirely new cards mod here. Okay, so I'm gonna middle mouse button on there so that I can open it up. And then I'm going to go to files and I'm gonna manually download this now. And I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna save it to my TCG mods folder. Okay, so that's done now. I'm gonna go back to my folders again. I'm gonna go back, back to here to the TCG mods folder, I'm going to right click on new cards mod and I'm going to extract it. Okay, and then I'm gonna close that. I'm going to delete the zip. Now I'm gonna go once into the folder and then you'll see this TCG card shop simulator folder. I'm gonna click into it again and then you'll see the card shop simulator data folder here, which is over here on the right. So we want to replace this one with that one. So I'm going to right click drag into the empty space. You've done this a hundred times now, so it should be easy at this point. And I'm going to copy here. Okay. So that step is done now. Okay. So in the instructions now, you can see the next step is to go into the new cars mod, TCG car shop simulator, Bepin EX, Patchers, TCG shop, new card mod preloader folder. Okay. So Let's just bring up this folder. Let's bring up our folder here. I'm gonna go back, back. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep the image for step five on the right here so we can see. So again, we wanna go to the new cards mod folder, and then we wanna go into TCG Car Shop Simulator, and then we wanna go into Bepin EX, Patchers, and then this folder here. And then inside this folder, we have this file, TCG shop, new card, new cards, mod preloader. Okay. So we want that. We want to put it inside Bepin EX, Patchers, TCG shop, new card, mod preloader folder. Okay. So I'm going to go over here where my steam folder is. I'm going to go inside Bepin EX, Patchers, TCG shop, new card, mod preloader. And I'm going to drag and drop this in here. Okay, and just to confirm that we put it in the right place, you can see the, the folders here. Let's move this. We've got monster configs, monster images, config, and now we have this new one here. Okay, so now we can close that. That step is done. So step six, in the mod folder, we wanna to go to TCG Car Shop Simulator, Bepin EX Plugins, TCG Shop New Cards Mod, and there's a DLL file there. So again, I'm going to make this smaller. And then I'm going to go to my mods folder and let's just go back just so we can do this from the start. Okay. So inside new cards mod folder, we want to go to TCG car shop simulator. We want to go to Bepin EX plugins, TCG shop, new cards mod. And then this file, we want to put it in Bepin EX plugins, TCG shop, new card mod. So again, I'm going to go back, back, back. So Bepin EX, plugins, TCG shop, new cards mod. It's an empty folder. You want to drag this and copy it here. Okay, and that's it. So if I've done all this correctly, and just bear in mind, this is the first time I'm installing this. So if I've done it all correctly, then when I load up the game, I should have all the new cards. Now. Keep in mind that it may take a minute or two for your game to load because there's so many more assets now. So it might take up to two minutes. If you're sitting there for more than you know three minutes or so, maybe there, there might be an issue. But just be patient and it should load eventually. Okay, so it took a bit. Um, and now I'm gonna load my game. Okay, so everything loaded up. Now I'm gonna go inside the store and I'm just going to open up my binder. And you can see now I have 
681 out of 8,340 cards. And you can see that the cards themselves have also changed. So this is these are not the cards that I had from before. They're completely updated now and they look absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that's it, everyone. That's how you install version 5.1 with the additional cards if you want them. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody.